Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to CodePipe. Today we are going to see how we can scrape some data from Instagram.com. We will be scraping some basic information about Instagram accounts that are public. Let me show you what we are going to achieve. On the screen we can see we have a CSV file or an Excel file in which we have all the Instagram account data. The data is the username, post, followers, following and account type. In this video we are going to collect this data and a disclaimer before we go ahead whatever I am scrapping it is completely public I am not scrapping any part which is private to the user so this is all available to public and I am using that data now let's get started and let me explain you what and how we will do it the very first thing we have to do is we have to check terms of use from Instagram because use of bots and automation can be in the illegal terms on some companies so please have a look out on terms of use I tried to go through it and I did not find anything so I'm going ahead with the project before starting the script I would like to inform you about two already present bots or automation tools from Python first one is instabot and we can get the information from pypy.org I'm not much aware about these tools but this is basically related to Instagram scrapping automation and bot. If you are looking to do something in the Instagram automation thing, please have a look at these libraries. And the next one is Instapy. This is also in Python and we can get the information from pypy.org. Now let me tell you how we are going to scrap the information. On our Instagram.com, we will go to explore. Why I am going to explore page is the profiles are public and we can have different number of profiles to have a look at now from our explore page we will go to an image we will get this page we will go to the page from this page we will extract the information using this we will get the name from here we will get the post followers following account type and these four or five informations are enough for us now let's get started with our script I'm using visual studio code for writing my script but the best recommendation from my side will be using Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab or Spider. But since I use Visual Studio Code for all of my code, I will be using this. First of all, we will go to extensions. We will search for Jupyter and we will install this extension. Here I have already installed, but you will get the option to install. After this, I will start a new Jupyter Notebook. For that, I will have to do Control Shift P and here if I write J U P Y T E R colon I will get some options from there I can use create a new blank notebook once the notebook is ready we will get this interface yes this is not fully fledged Jupyter notebook but we can work with it now we will make sure our virtual environment is on if we look here our virtual environment which is the name itself is activated now I will open my terminal virtual environment is open now I will install Selenium since I have already installed the Selenium I am getting requirement already satisfied next thing we need to do is we need to download Chrome drivers for that if we search in our browser Chrome driver download for Selenium we will get the first website as chromedriver.chromium.org if we open this we will get current or latest releases and we can see our latest is 91.0.4472 now this number is related to Chrome version and we can check our version by going to three dot menu help and about Google Chrome here we can see version is 91.0.4472 and here we have the same number so we will download this one we will download for Windows it will give a Windows to save the file as zip so we can save it in any folder we want since I already have this I am going to cancel this but you need to click on the save let me show you what we will get after downloading and unzipping the file so in my folder where I have downloaded it I have unzipped the folder and I got this chromedriver.exe let's keep it here for a while coming back to our notebook now if you are new to selenium and web driver we will need the combination of both why because web driver will help us to control the chrome and selenium will help us control the web elements the HTML tags basically it will be cleared in a minute 
let's get started with the script first of all let's import some libraries we will import web driver from selenium and sleep from the python module time so that we can pause our script while we are doing the automation and if we want to run this we will press shift plus enter let's close the terminal it is not required let's close the files now we can see here we are getting the number one and there is no error message just like jupyter notebook so it is running now we will use the chrome drivers that we have downloaded to instantiate our browser or driver and we will get the instagram.com and we can do that using this line of code so basically we are informing that we are going to use this chrome drivers to control our chrome at this point we want to get these elements using html or css or whatever we can find and we need to put username password and then click on login for that we will inspect and if we inspect this input we can see here is the input and if i right click on it copy and copy xpath and here we can write user input is equal to browser dot find element by xpath and here i will paste the xpath that we have copied making a small change and for test i will use user input dot there is a function called send underscore keys using which we can put any value we want in this field what is happening is using this find element by xpath we are getting this input element and in this input element if we are using send keys we are sending this query into this input so let's say test and if we run this we can see that we have our test in our username same we will do with the password input find element by xpath we will copy it from here we will find this and we will copy the xpath paste it here change this same like this i will provide some test keys pass input dot send underscore keys if i run this we can see that our password field is populated if we show this this is test now is the good time to tell you using what all we can find the elements in our browser if we search selenium read the docs we will get the first website where we will get the documentation for selenium inside this we will get all the necessary details about selenium and here if we see locating elements we can find here that there are different selectors or methods using which we can find the elements id name xpath link text tag name class name etc please have a look to get more information coming back to our script now we have username input password input now we need to get this login so again we will use the inspect method to get this we will open this we are looking for a submit button so here is the submit button i will again copy the xpath of this here i will say login button and we will find it using same xpath i use xpath because it is unique and we can easily get it from our browser find element using xpath copy our xpath and now i will say login button dot to perform a click we just need to type click i can't use this login button now because we did not use the correct username and password and it is disabled so let me quickly put the correct username and password and get back now i have imported username and password from different file for obvious reasons now let me place them here username and at this place i will write password let's clear this if we run this we see that our username is getting there and if we run this next row our password is also getting there and now we have also activated the login button so if i run this line of code we can see that it is getting clicked and we are getting to the next page on this page we need to find this button and click on not now for that i will find element by xpath again and i will click on this so if we run this it is getting clicked and we are getting to the next page 
now we are getting the notification pop up this we will do the same we will find this button and click on it on this line i have the x path and i will use the same thing if we run this we remove the notification bell now we need to click on this for that i will use the same technique and i will run this now we are into our explore page on this page there is something i want to show you so we will maximize it and get this on the right side the point is these three images are into one division these three images are into one division to confirm this if we inspect click on this we will see that this is the division for this image then the second image and then the first image and their parent will have all these three images and if we go a little bit above we can see that above section is different i hope you understand this why i am telling you this is because we will have to look through two divisions one will be the outer division and next one will be these individual images now what we are going to do on this page is we will click on image on this page we will click on this page name so that we will get to the page and from here we will just take the username and all the other details so let me put it into a code and show you here i am after adding the code for what we just discussed let me walk you through it first of all we need to click on the image that is present on the explore page for that we are making two loops the top loop that is i will take care of the main divisions and the j loop will take care of each individual image in that division so here we are using j and j respectively we are clicking on the image the pop up will occur on that we will click on the page name and when the main page opens we will get the details we are using here try and accept method which is very useful so first of all we will try to get the username again using the x path we are getting the username and here we are just using dot text to get whatever the text is available on the division or span now in the accept part i am going back to the explore page because during testing there were times when i was not able to get the username so if i am not able to get the username i don't think the u data will be useful so i am going back then we have number of post then we have number of followers we are finding the element and we are just getting the text then we are trying to get the following account and we are making following is equal to 0 if the error occurs when we are talking about account type some users on instagram have put their relevant account type but there are some users who did not put anything for that i am using none and at the last i am just printing everything and i am using a list which i have initialized on the top which is empty and i am appending the data into that list after getting all the information i am just going back to the explore page so that i can go to the next image let's try to run this here is our browser let's go to the explore page if we run this opening the image going to the main page getting some information and in our script we can see we got the username of that page we got the post we got the followers we get the following and we got the account type along with this we are also getting one error no such element exception on this page it says that the element does not exist the reason behind this is we are trying to find the element before the page is loading so for that i will go to this line and here i will use sleep and i will make it sleep for let's say 2 seconds so that everything is loaded and then it will try to find now we will try to rerun it on our browser let's close this let's be on our explore page let's run this I'm going to the main page the script is running we are getting the information here it is going to the next image opening the page getting the information here so let me stop it here here i will stop the run because it was going to take some time here if we see our insta data what all we have so we can see we only have two things here we have our list now we can convert this insta data list into a data frame using pandas and we can use that csv file into our further projects 
मे बी डेटा एनालिसिस और मशीन लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट समथिंग तो आई विल इम्पोर्ट पेंडास आई विल मेक अ डेटा फ्रेम यूजिंग दिस लिस्ट एंड इफ आई प्रिंट दिस डेटा बेस वी कैन सी दैट वी आर गेटिंग द गुड फॉर्मेटेड डेटा एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड द कॉलम नेम्स एंड टू सेव दिस इन सी एस वी वी कैन डायरेक्टली राइट डी एफ टू सी एस वी दिस फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम पेंडास एंड वी कैन गिव एनी पाथ वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू सेव दिस इफ वी रन दिस लेट्स चेक आर फाइल्स हेर वी हैव इंस्टा डेटा डॉट सी एस वी आई थिंक दिस इज अ गुड पॉइंट टू कंक्लूड आर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू यूज सेलेनियम एंड क्रोम ड्राइवर टू ऑटोमेट आर गूगल क्रोम यूजिंग विच नॉट ओनली वी कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट डेटा फ्रॉम इंस्टाग्राम बट वी कैन डू मैनी अदर थिंग्स आई विल ट्राई टू पुट द फाइल एंड द डेटा सेट ऑन सम वेबसाइट और गिट हब सो दैट इट इज अवेलेबल टू यू गाइज एंड इन फ्यूचर वीडियोज मे बी वी कैन डू सम एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन दिस डेटा सो स्टे ट्यून फॉर दैट लेट मी नो योर थॉट्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन गिव अस अ थम्स अप इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो If you are new to the channel I upload videos on every Sunday about Python programming so don't forget to hit the subscribe button to not miss out on any videos we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is Somvir taking your leave adios